which is the only bone that does not touch another bone. The hyoid bone is the only bone that does not touch another bone. Located above the larynx, it supports the tongue and provides attachment. Sites for the muscles of the neck and pharynx used in speaking and swallowing. The hyoid is carefully examined when there is a suspicion of strangulation. Since it is often fractured from such trauma. What regulates body temperature in humans? The hypothalamus controls internal body temperature by responding to sensory impulses from temperature receptors in the skin and in the deep body regions. The hypothalamus establishes a set point for the internal body temperature. Then constantly compares this with its own actual temperature. If the two do not match, the hypothalamus activates either temperature decreasing or temperature increasing procedures to bring them into alignment. What are the major divisions of the human skeleton? The human skeleton has two major divisions, the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton includes the bones of the center or axis of the body. The appendicular skeleton consists of the bones of the upper and lower extremities. What are some animals that have pouches? Marsupials, meaning pouched animals. Differ from all other living mammals in their anatomical and physiological features of reproduction. Most female marsupials, including kangaroos, bandicoots, wombats, banded anteaters, koalas, possums, wallabies, and Tasmanian devils, possess an abdominal pouch, called a marsupium, in which their young are carried. In some small terrestrial marsupials, however, the marsupium is not a true pouch but merely a fold of skin around the mammy, milk nipples. The short gestation period in marsupials, in comparison to other similarly sized mammals, allows their young to be born in an undeveloped state. Consequently, these animals have been viewed as primitive or second-class mammals. However, some now see that the reproductive process of marsupials has an advantage over that of placental mammals. A female marsupial invests relatively few resources during the brief gestation period. More so during the lactation, nursing period, when the young are in the marsupium. If the female marsupial loses its young, it can conceive again sooner than a placental mammal in a comparable situation. What are the types of human body shapes?
the best known example of body typing, classifying body shape in terms of physiological functioning. Behavior and Disease Resistance was devised by American psychologist William Herbert Sheldon, 1898-1977. Sheldon's system, known as somatotyping, distinguishes three types of body shapes. Ignoring overall size, endomorph, mesomorph, and ectomorph. The extreme endomorph tends to be spherical, a round head, a large, fat abdomen. Weak penguin-like arms and legs, with heavy upper arms and thighs but slender wrists and ankles. The extreme mesomorph is characterized by a massive cubical head. Broad shoulders and chest, and heavy muscular arms and legs. The extreme ectomorph has a thin face, receding chin. High forehead, a thin, narrow chest and abdomen, and spindly arms and legs. In Sheldon's system there are mixed body types, determined by component ratings. Sheldon assumed a close relationship between body build and behavior and temperament. This system of body typing has many critics. What is the name of the seal-like animal in Florida? The West Indian manatee, Trechus manatus, in the winter. Moves to more temperate parts of Florida, such as the warm headwaters of the Crystal and Homosassa rivers in central Florida or the tropical waters of southern Florida. When the air temperature rises to 50 degrees Fahrenheit 10 degrees Celsius. It will wander back along the Gulf Coast and up the Atlantic Coast as far as Virginia. Long-range offshore migrations to the coast of Guiana and South America have been documented. In 1893, when the population of manatees in Florida was reduced to several thousand, the state gave it legal protection from being hunted or commercially exploited. However, many animals continue to be killed or injured by the encroachment of humans. Entrapment in locks and dams, collisions with barges and power boat propellers. And other man-made objects, cause at least 30% of the manatee deaths, which total 125 to 130 annually. Which mammals have the shortest gestation periods? Gestation is the period of time between fertilization and birth in oviparous animals. The shortest gestation period known is 12 to 13 days, shared by three marsupials. The American or Virginian opossum, Didelphys marsupialis, the rare water opossum, or Yapoc, Chironectes minimus. Of Central and Northern South America, and the eastern native cat, Dossi urus viverinus, of Australia. The young of each of these marsupials are born while still immature, and complete their development in the ventral pouch of their mother. While 12 to 13 days is the average, the gestation period is sometimes as short as 8 days. The longest gestation period for a mammal is that of the African elephant. Loxodonta africana, with an average of 660 days, 
and a maximum of 760 days. What is the smallest bone in the body? The stapes, stirrup, in the middle ear is the smallest bone in the body. It measures to 1.34 inches, 2.6 to 3.4 centimeters. And weighs 0.00071 to 0.0015 ounce, 0.002 to 0.004 gram. What are the levels of structural organization in vertebrate animals, including humans? Every vertebrate animal has four major levels of hierarchical organization. Cell, tissue, organ, and organ system. Each level in the hierarchy is of increasing complexity. And all organ systems work together to maintain life. Which mammals lay eggs and suckle their young? The duck-billed platypus, Ornithorhynchus anatinus, the short-nosed echidna or spiny anteater. Tachyglossus aculeatus, and the long-nosed echidna, Zaglossus bruigeni. Indigenous to Australia, Tasmania, and New Guinea, are the only three species of mammals that lay eggs. A non-mammalian feature, but suckle their young, a mammalian feature. These mammals, order Monotremata, resemble reptiles in that they lay rubbery. Shell-covered eggs that are incubated and hatched outside the mother's body. In addition, they resemble reptiles in their digestive, reproductive, and excretory systems. And in a number of anatomical details, eye structure. Presence of certain skull bones, pectoral shoulder girdle and rib and vertebral structures. They are, however, classed as mammals because they have fur and a four-chambered heart. Nurse their young from gland milk, are warm-blooded, and have some mammalian skeletal features. Who is considered the founder of physiology? As an experimenter, Claude Bernard, 1813-1878 Enriched physiology by his introduction of numerous new concepts into the field. The most famous of these concepts is that of the milieu interior or internal environment. The complex functions of the various organs are closely interrelated and are all directed to maintaining the constancy of internal conditions despite external changes. All cells exist in this aqueous, blood and lymph, internal environment, which bathes the cells and provides a medium for the elementary exchange of nutrients and waste material. What are the four humors of the body?
the four constituent humors of the body were identified as blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile, originating in the heart, brain, liver, and spleen, respectively. Empedocles of Agrigentum, 504 to 433 BCE, probably originated the theory in which he equated the body fluids to the four elements of nature, earth, fire, air, and water. These humors could determine the health of the body and the personality of the person as well. To be in good health the humors should be in harmony within the body. Ill health could be remedied by treatments to realign the humors and re-establish the harmony. What type of cell is found in nerve tissue? Neurons are specialized cells that produce and conduct impulses, or nerve signals. Neurons consist of a cell body, which contains a nucleus and two types of cytoplasmic extensions, dendrites and axons. Dendrites are thin, highly branched extensions that receive signals. Axons are tubular extensions that transmit nerve impulses away from the cell body, often to another neuron. Nerve tissue also has supporting cells, called neuroglia or glial cells, which nourish the neurons. Insulate the dendrites and axons, and promote quicker transmission of signals. Do any mammals fly? Bats, order Chiroptera with 986 species, are the only truly flying mammals. Although several gliding mammals are referred to as flying, such as the flying squirrel and flying lemur. The wings of bats are double membranes of skin stretching from the sides of the body to the hind legs and tail. And are actually skin extensions of the back and belly. The wing membranes are supported by the elongated fingers of the forelimbs, or arms. Nocturnal, active at night, ranging in length from 1.5 inches, 25 millimeters to 1.3 feet, 40.6 centimeters, and living in caves or crevices. Bats inhabit most of the temperate and tropical regions of both hemispheres. The majority of species feed on insects and fruit. While some tropical species eat pollen and nectar of flowers, and insects found inside them. Moderate-sized species usually prey on small mammals, birds, lizards, and frogs, and some eat fish. But true vampire bats, three species, eat the blood of animals by making an incision in the animal's skin from these bats, animals can contract rabies. Most bats do not find their way around by sight but have evolved a sonar system. Called echolocation, for locating solid objects. Bats emit vocal sounds through the nose or mouth while flying. These sounds, usually above the human hearing range, are reflected back as echoes. This method enables bats, when flying in darkness, to avoid solid objects and to locate the position of flying insects. Bats have the most acute sense of hearing of any land animal. 
hearing frequencies as high as 120 to 210 kHz. The highest frequency humans can hear is 20 kHz. How many sweat glands are present in the body? Sweat glands are present on all regions of the skin. There can be as many as 90 glands per square centimeter on the leg. 400 glands per cubic centimeter on the palms and soles, and an even greater number on the fingertips. Collectively, there are over 2 million sweat glands in the adult human body. What are the seven endocrine glands? The major endocrine glands include the pituitary, thyroid, parathyroids, adrenals, pancreas, testes, and ovaries. These glands secrete hormones into the blood system, which generally stimulate some change in metabolic activity. Pituitary secretes ACTH to stimulate the adrenal cortex which produces aldosterone to control sodium and potassium reabsorption by the kidneys, FSH to stimulate gonad function and prolactin, to stimulate milk secretion of breasts, TSH to stimulate thyroid gland to produce thyroxin, LH to stimulate ovulation in females and testosterone production in males, GH to stimulate general growth, Stores oxytocin for uterine contraction. Thyroid secretes triiodothyronine, T3, and thyroxine, T4, to stimulate metabolic rate. Especially in growth and development, and secretes calcitonin to lower blood calcium levels. Parathyroids secrete hormone PTH to increase blood calcium levels and stimulates calcium reabsorption in kidneys. Adrenals secrete epinephrine and norepinephrine to help the body cope with stress. And raise blood pressure, heart rate, metabolic rate, blood sugar levels. Etc. Aldosterone secreted by the adrenal cortex maintains sodium-potassium balance in kidneys and Cortisol helps the body adapt to stress, mobilizes fat, and raises blood sugar level. Pancreas secretes insulin to control blood sugar levels. Stimulates glycogen production, fat storage, and protein synthesis. Glucagon secretion raises blood sugar level and mobilizes fat. Ovaries and testes secrete estrogens, progesterone, or testosterone to stimulate growth and reproductive processes. What freshwater mammal is venomous? The male duck-billed platypus, Ornithorhynchus anatinus, has venomous spurs located on its hind legs. When threatened, the animal will drive them into the skin of a potential enemy, inflicting a painful sting. The venom this action releases is relatively mild and generally not harmful to humans.
which two cervical vertebrae allow the head to move. The first two cervical vertebrae, C1 and C2, allow the head to move. The first cervical vertebra, the C1 or atlas, articulates with the occipital bone of the skull and makes it possible for a person to nod his or her head. The second cervical vertebra, C2, known as the axis, forms a pivot point for the atlas to move the skull in a side-to-side -side rotation. Which two cervical vertebrae allow the head to move? The first two cervical vertebrae, C1 and C2, allow the head to move. The first cervical vertebra, the C1 or atlas, articulates with the occipital bone of the skull and makes it possible for a person to nod his or her head. The second cervical vertebra, C2, known as the axis, forms a pivot point for the atlas to move the skull in a side-to-side -side rotation. What is the most commonly broken bone? The clavicle, collarbone, is probably one of the most frequently fractured. Bones in the body due to its vulnerable position and relative thinness. Fractured clavicles are caused by either a direct blow or a Transmitted force resulting from a fall on the outstretched arm. What is the most commonly broken bone? The clavicle, collarbone is probably one of the most frequently fractured. Bones in the body due to its vulnerable position and relative thinness. Fractured clavicles are caused by either a direct blow or a transmitted force resulting from a fall on the outstretched arm. Why is the first cervical vertebra, C1, called the atlas? The first cervical vertebra is called the atlas after the Greek god Atlas, who was condemned to carry the earth and heavens on his shoulders. This vertebra has a ring-like structure with a large central opening and supports the head. Why is the first cervical vertebra, C1, called the atlas? The first cervical vertebra is called the atlas after the Greek god Atlas, who was condemned to carry the earth and heavens on his shoulders. This vertebra has a ring-like structure with a large central opening and supports the head. How does the anatomical usage of the word arm differ from the common usage? Anatomically, 
the word arm refers only to the humerus, the long bone between the shoulder and the elbow. Common usage refers to the entire length of the limb from the shoulder to the wrist as the arm. How does the anatomical usage of the word arm differ from the common usage? Anatomically, the word arm refers only to the humerus, the long bone between the shoulder and the elbow. Common usage refers to the entire length of the limb from the shoulder to the wrist as the arm. What makes knuckles crack? When a person pulls quickly on his or her finger. A vacuum is created in the joint space between the bones, displacing the fluid normally found in the space. The popping sound occurs when the fluids rush back into the empty gap. What makes knuckles crack? When a person pulls quickly on his or her finger. A vacuum is created in the joint space between the bones, displacing the fluid normally found in the space. The popping sound occurs when the fluids rush back into the empty gap. Is it harmful to crack one's knuckles? A study of 300 knuckle crackers found no apparent connection between joint cracking and arthritis. Other damage was observed. Including soft tissue damage to the joint capsule and a decrease in grip strength. The rapid, repeated stretching of the ligaments surrounding. The joint is most likely the cause of damage to the soft tissue. Is it harmful to crack one's knuckles? A study of 300 knuckle crackers found no apparent connection between joint cracking and arthritis. Other damage was observed. Including soft tissue damage to the joint capsule and a decrease in grip strength. The rapid, repeated stretching of the ligaments surrounding. The joint is most likely the cause of damage to the soft tissue. What are the functions of the muscular system? Muscles are identified as being voluntary muscles or involuntary muscles. The skeletal muscles are called voluntary muscles because the person controls their use. They are used to move the various parts of the body. Smooth muscles, found in the stomach and intestinal walls, vein, and artery walls. And in various internal organs, are called involuntary muscles, because they are not generally controlled by the person. The cardiac muscles, or the heart muscles, 
are also involuntary muscles. What are the functions of the muscular system? Muscles are identified as being voluntary muscles or involuntary muscles. The skeletal muscles are called voluntary muscles because the person controls their use. They are used to move the various parts of the body. Smooth muscles, found in the stomach and intestinal walls, vein, and artery walls. And in various internal organs, are called involuntary muscles, because they are not generally controlled by the person. The cardiac muscles, or the heart muscles, are also involuntary muscles. What is the funny bone? The funny bone is not a bone but part of the ulnar nerve located at the back of the elbow. A bump in this area can cause a tingling sensation or produce. A temporary numbness and paralysis of muscles on the forearm. What is the funny bone? The funny bone is not a bone but part of the ulnar nerve located at the back of the elbow. A bump in this area can cause a tingling sensation or produce. A temporary numbness and paralysis of muscles on the forearm. How many muscles are in the human body? There are about 650 muscles in the body, although some authorities believe there are as many as 850 muscles. No exact figure is available because experts disagree about which are separate muscles and which ones branch off larger ones. Also, there is some variability from one person to another. Though the general musculature remains the same. How many muscles are in the human body? There are about 650 muscles in the body, although some authorities believe there are as many as 850 muscles. No exact figure is available because experts disagree about which are separate muscles and which ones branch off larger ones. Also, there is some variability from one person to another. Though the general musculature remains the same. Which are the largest and smallest muscles in the human body? The largest muscle is the gluteus maximus, buttock muscle which moves the thigh bone away from the body and straightens out the hip joint. It is also one of the stronger muscles in the body. The smallest muscle is the stapedius in the middle ear. 
it is thinner than a thread and 0.05 inches, 0.127 centimeters, in length. It activates the stirrup that sends vibrations from the eardrum to the inner ear. Which are the largest and smallest muscles in the human body? The largest muscle is the gluteus maximus, buttock muscle, which moves the thigh bone away from the body and straightens out the hip joint. It is also one of the stronger muscles in the body. The smallest muscle is the stapedius in the middle ear. It is thinner than a thread and 0.05 inches, 0.127 centimeters, in length. It activates the stirrup that sends vibrations from the eardrum to the inner ear. What is the longest muscle in the human body? The longest muscle is the sartorius, which runs from the waist to the knee. Its purpose is to flex the hip and knee. What is the longest muscle in the human body? The longest muscle is the sartorius, which runs from the waist to the knee. Its purpose is to flex the hip and knee. What are the hamstring muscles? There are three hamstring muscles, located at the back of the thigh. They flex the leg on the thigh, such as when one kneels. They also extend the hip whenever one, for example, sits in a chair. Hamstring injuries are probably the most common muscle injury among runners. Maintaining flexibility and strengthening the muscle helps to prevent injury. Hamstring muscles are also prone to range injury. What are the hamstring muscles? There are three hamstring muscles, located at the back of the thigh. They flex the leg on the thigh, such as when one kneels. They also extend the hip whenever one, for example, sits in a chair. Hamstring injuries are probably the most common muscle injury among runners. Maintaining flexibility and strengthening the muscle helps to prevent injury. Hamstring muscles are also prone to range injury. Is it harmful to crack one's knuckles? A study of 300 knuckle crackers found no apparent connection between joint cracking and arthritis. Other damage was observed, including soft tissue damage to the joint capsule and a decrease in grip strength. The rapid, repeated stretching of the ligaments surrounding 
the joint is most likely the cause of damage to the soft tissue. What are the hamstring muscles? There are three hamstring muscles, located at the back of the thigh. They flex the leg on the thigh, such as when one kneels. They also extend the hip whenever one, for example, sits in a chair. Hamstring injuries are probably the most common muscle injury among runners. Maintaining flexibility and strengthening the muscle helps to prevent injury. Hamstring muscles are also prone to range injury. Which bear lives in a tropical rainforest? The Malayan sun bear, Ursus malayanus, is one of the rarest animals in the tropical forests of Sumatra. The Malay Peninsula, Borneo, Burma, Thailand, and southern China. The smallest bear species, with a length of 3.3 to 4.6 feet, 1 to 1.4 meters. And weighing 60 to 143 pounds, 27 to 65 kilograms, it has a strong, stocky body. Against its black, short fur it has a characteristic orange-yellow colored crescent across its chest. Which according to legend represents the rising sun. With powerful paws having long, Curved claws to help it climb trees in the dense forests, it is an expert tree climber. The sun bear tears at tree bark to expose insects, larvae, and the nests of bees and termites. Fruit, coconut palms, and small rodents are also part of its diet. Sleeping and sunbathing during the day, it is active at night. Unusually shy and retiring, cautious, and intelligent. The sun bear is declining in population as its native forests are being destroyed. What is the largest terrestrial mammal in North America? The bison, bison bison, is the largest terrestrial mammal in North America. It weighs 3,100 pounds, 1,406 lyograms, and is 6 feet, 1.8 meters, high. What makes knuckles crack? When a person pulls quickly on his or her finger, a vacuum is created in the joint space between the bones, displacing the fluid normally found in the space. The popping sound occurs when the fluids rush back into the empty gap. How many neurons are in the nervous system? There are approximately 20 billion neurons in the nervous system. How many vertebrae are in the neck of a giraffe?
A giraffe neck has seven vertebrae, the same as other mammals, but the vertebrae are greatly elongated. Why are Dalmatians firehouse dogs? Before automobiles, coaches and carriages were often accompanied by dogs that kept horses company and guarded them from theft. Dalmatians were particularly well known for the strong bond they formed with horses and firemen, who often owned the strongest and speediest horses in the area, kept the dogs at the station to deter horse thieves. Although fire engines have replaced horses, Dalmatians have remained a part of firehouse life. Both for the appeal of these beautiful dogs and for their nostalgic tie to the past. What are the functions of the muscular system? Muscles are identified as being voluntary muscles or involuntary muscles. The skeletal muscles are called voluntary muscles because the person controls their use. They are used to move the various parts of the body. Smooth muscles, found in the stomach and intestinal walls, vein, and artery walls. And in various internal organs, are called involuntary muscles, because they are not generally controlled by the person. The cardiac muscles, or the heart muscles, are also involuntary muscles. How does the anatomical usage of the word arm differ from the common usage? Anatomically, the word arm refers only to the humerus, the long bone between the shoulder and the elbow. Common usage refers to the entire length of the limb from the shoulder to the wrist as the arm. How large is the brain? The brain weighs about 3 pounds, 1.4 kilograms. The average brain has a volume of 71 cubic inches, 1,200 cubic centimeters. In general, the brain of males averages about 10% larger than those of females due to overall differences in average body size. The brain contains approximately 100 billion neurons and 1 trillion neuroglia. There is no correlation between brain size and intelligence. What is the longest muscle in the human body? The longest muscle is the sartorius, which runs from the waist to the knee. Its purpose is to flex the hip and knee. What is the oldest breed of dog? Dogs are the oldest domestic animal, originating 12,000 to 14,000 years ago. They are believed to be descendants of wild canines, 
most likely wolves. Which began to frequent human settlements where food was more readily available. The more aggressive canines were probably driven off or killed, while the less dangerous ones were kept to guard. Hunt, and later herd other domesticated animals, such as sheep. Attempts at selectively breeding desirable traits likely began soon after. The oldest purebred dog is believed to be the Saluki. Sumerian rock carvings in Mesopotamia. That date to about 7000 BCE depict dogs bearing a striking resemblance to the Saluki. The dogs are 23 to 28 inches, 58 to 71 centimeters, tall with a long, narrow head. The coat is smooth and silky and can be white, cream, fawn, gold, red, grizzle, bluish gray. And tan, black and tan, or tricolour, white, black and tan. The tail is long and feathered. The Saluki has remarkable sight and tremendous speed, which makes it an excellent hunter. The oldest American purebred dog is the American Foxhound. It descends from a pack of foxhounds belonging to an Englishman named Robert. Brooke who settled in Maryland in 1650. These dogs were crossed with other strains imported from England, Ireland, and France to develop the American Foxhound. This dog stands 22 to 25 inches, 56 to 63.5 centimeters, tall. It has a long, slightly domed head, with a straight, squared out muzzle. The coat is of medium length and can be any color. They are used primarily for hunting. What is the chemical composition of a skunk's spray? The chief odorous components of the spray have been identified as crotylmercaptan, isopentylmercaptan, and methylcrotyldisulfide in the ratio of 4 colon 4 colon 3. The liquid is an oily, pale yellow, foul smelling spray that can cause severe eye inflammation. This defensive weapon is discharged from two tiny nipples located just inside. The skunk's anus either as a fine spray or a short stream of rain-sized drops. Although the liquid's range is 6.5 to 10 feet, 2 to 3 meters. Its smell can be detected 1.5 miles, 2.5 kilometers, downwind. Why were Clydesdale horses used as war horses? The Clydesdales were among a group of European horses referred to as the Great Horses. Which were specifically bred to carry the massively armored knights of the Middle Ages. These animals had to be strong enough to carry a man wearing as much as 100 pounds. 45 kilograms of armor as well as up to 80 pounds, 36 kilograms of armor on their own bodies. However, the invention of the musket quickly ended the use of Clydesdales and other great Horses on the battlefield as speed and maneuverability became more important than strength.
Why do cows have four stomachs? The stomachs of cows, as well as all ruminants, are divided into four sections the rumen, reticulum, omasum, and abomasums. Ruminants eat rapidly and do not chew much of their food completely before they swallow it. The liquid part of their food enters the reticulum first, while the solid part of their food enters the rumen where it softens. Bacteria in the rumen initially break it down as a first step in digestion. Ruminants later regurgitate it into the mouth where they chew their cud. Cows chew their cud about 6 to 8 times per day. Spending a total of 5 to 7 hours in rumination. The chewed cud goes directly into the other chambers of the stomach. Where various microorganisms assist in further digestion. Which are the largest and smallest muscles in the human body? The largest muscle is the gluteus maximus, buttock muscle, which moves the thigh bone away from the body and straightens out the hip joint. It is also one of the stronger muscles in the body. The smallest muscle is the stapedius in the middle ear. It is thinner than a thread and 0.05 inches, 0.127 centimeters, in length. It activates the stirrup that sends vibrations from the eardrum to the inner ear. Is there a cat that lives in the desert? The sand cat, Felis margarita, is the only member of the cat family tied directly to desert regions. Found in North Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan and western Pakistan, the sand cat has adapted to extremely arid desert areas. The padding on the solace of its feet is well suited to the loose sandy soil. And it can live without drinking freestanding water. Having sandy or grayish ochre dense fur, its body length is 17.5 to 22 inches, 45 to 57 centimeters. Mainly nocturnal, active at night, the cat feeds on rodents, hares, birds, and reptiles. The Chinese desert cat, Felis Biety, does not live in the desert as its name implies. But inhabits the steppe country and mountains. Likewise, the Asiatic desert cat, Felis Silvestris or Nata. Inhabits the open plains of India, Pakistan, Iran, and Asiatic Russia. How many different types of neurons are found in nerve tissue? There are three main types of neurons. 1. Sensory neurons, 2. Motor neurons, and 3. Interneurons, also called association neurons. Sensory neurons conduct impulses from sensory organs, eyes, ears, and the surface of the skin, 
into the central nervous system. Motor neurons conduct impulses from the central nervous system to muscles or glands. Interneurons are neither sensory neurons nor motor neurons. They permit elaborate processing of information to generate complex behaviors. Interneurons comprise the majority of neurons in the central nervous system. What is the only American canine that can climb trees? The gray fox, Eurocean scenario argentus, is the only American canine that can climb trees. What is the largest nerve in the body? The sciatic nerve is the largest in the human body about as thick as a lead pencil 0.78 inch, 1.98 centimeters. It is a broad, flat nerve composed of fibers that run from the spinal cord to the back of each leg. What is the most commonly broken bone? The clavicle, collarbone, is probably one of the most frequently fractured. Bones in the body due to its vulnerable position and relative thinness. Fractured clavicles are caused by either a direct blow or a transmitted force resulting from a fall on the outstretched arm. How many muscles are in the human body? There are about 650 muscles in the body, although some authorities believe there are as many as 850 muscles. No exact figure is available because experts disagree about which are separate muscles and which ones branch off larger ones. Also, there is some variability from one person to another. Though the general musculature remains the same. How many quills does a porcupine have? For its defensive weapon, the average North American porcupine has about 30,000 quills or specialized hairs. Comparable in hardness and flexibility to slivers of celluloid and so sharply pointed that they can penetrate any hide. The quills that do the most damage are the short ones that stud the porcupine's muscular tail. With a few lashes, the porcupine can send a rain of quills that have tiny scale-like barbs into the skin of its adversary. The quills work their way inward because of their barbs and the involuntary muscular action of the victim. Sometimes the quills can work themselves out. But other times the quills pierce vital organs, and the victim dies. Slow-footed and stocky, porcupines spend much of their time in the trees. Using their formidable incisors to strip off bark and foliage for their food, and supplement their diets with fruits and grasses. 
Porcupines have a ravenous appetite for salt, as herbivores. Plant-eating animals, their diets have insufficient salt. So natural salt licks, animal bones left by carnivores, meat-eating animals. Yellow pond lilies, and other items having a high salt content, including paints, plywood adhesives. And human clothing that bears traces of sweat, have a strong appeal to porcupines. What is the funny bone? The funny bone is not a bone but part of the ulnar nerve located at the back of the elbow. A bump in this area can cause a tingling sensation or produce. A temporary numbness and paralysis of muscles on the forearm. What are the major divisions of the brain? The brain has four major divisions, one, brain stem, including the medulla oblongata, pons, and midbrain, two, cerebellum, three, cerebrum, and four, diencephalon. The diencephalon is further divided into the thalamus, hypothalamus, epithalamus, and ventral thalamus or subthalamus. What is the largest organ in the human body? The largest and heaviest human organ is the skin, with a total surface area of about 20 square feet. 1.9 square meters, for an average person or 25 square feet, 2.3 square meters, for a large person. It weighs 5.6 pounds, 2.7 kilograms, on average representing 4% of the average weight of the human body. Although generally it is not thought of as an organ, anatomically it is an organ. How much does the heart weigh? In an infant, the heart is about one thirtieth of total body weight. In an average adult, the heart is about one three hundredth of total body weight. This equals about 11 ounces, 310 grams, in males and 8 ounces, 225 grams, in females. Which two cervical vertebrae allow the head to move? The first two cervical vertebrae, C1 and C2, allow the head to move. The first cervical vertebra, the C1 or atlas, articulates with the occipital bone of the skull and makes it possible for a person to nod his or her head. The second cervical vertebra, C2, known as the axis, forms a pivot point for the atlas to move the skull in a side-to-side -side rotation. How often is the epithelium replaced?
epithelial cells are constantly being replaced and regenerated during an individual's lifetime. The epidermis, outer layer of the skin, is renewed every two weeks. A totally new epidermis is produced every 25 to 30 days. The epithelial lining of the stomach is replaced every 2 to 3 days. The lining of the respiratory tract is only replaced every 5 to 6 weeks. The liver, a gland consisting of epithelial tissue, easily regenerates after portions are removed surgically. What is the size and location of the heart? Heart size varies with body size. The average adult's heart is about 5.5 inches, 14 centimeters. Long and 3.5 inches, 9 centimeters, wide or approximately the size of one's fist. The heart is located just above the diaphragm, between the right and left lungs. One third of the heart is located on the right side of the chest, while two thirds are located on the left side of the chest. Why is the first cervical vertebra, C1, called the atlas? The first cervical vertebra is called the atlas after the Greek god Atlas, who was condemned to carry the earth and heavens on his shoulders. This vertebra has a ring-like structure with a large central opening and supports the head. What is an organ? An organ is a group of several different tissues working together as a unit to perform a specific function or functions. Each organ performs functions that none of the component tissues can perform alone. This cooperative interaction of different tissues is a basic feature of animals, including humans. The heart is an example of an organ. It consists of cardiac muscle wrapped in connective tissue. The heart chambers are lined with epithelium. Nerve tissue controls the rhythmic contractions of the cardiac muscles. Do camels store water in their humps? The hump or humps do not store water, since they are fat reservoirs. The ability to go long periods without drinking water, up to 10 months if there is plenty. Of green vegetation and due to feed on, results from a number of physiological adaptations. One major factor is that camels can lose up to 40% of their body weight with no ill effects. A camel can also withstand a variation of its body temperature by as much as 14 degrees. A camel can drink 30 gallons of water in 10 minutes and up to 50 gallons over several hours. A one-humped camel is called a dromedary or Arabian camel. A Bactrian camel has two humps and lives in the wild on the Goba Desert.
Today, the Bactrian is confined to Asia, while most of the Arabian camels are on African soil. What is the basic unit of the brain? Neurons are the nerve cells that are the major constituent of the brain. At birth the brain has the maximum number of neurons 20 billion to 200 billion neurons. Thousands are lost daily, never to be replaced and apparently not missed. Until the cumulative loss builds up in very old age. Are both of the lungs identical? The lungs are cone-shaped organs in the thoracic cavity. The right lung consists of three lobes, right superior lobe, right middle lobe, and right inferior lobe, while the left lung has only two lobes. Left superior lobe and left inferior lobe, and is slightly smaller than the right lung. Although relatively large, each lung weighs only 1 pound, 2.2 kilograms. Which muscle is the most variable among humans? The platysma muscle in the side of the neck is probably the most variable. It can cover the whole region in some people while in others. It is strap-like or in a few situations it is missing completely. Which muscle is the most variable among humans? The platysma muscle in the side of the neck is probably the most variable. It can cover the whole region in some people while in others. It is strap-like or in a few situations it is missing completely. How many muscles does it take to produce a smile and a frown? Seventeen muscles are used in smiling while the average frown uses forty-three. How many muscles does it take to produce a smile and a frown? Seventeen muscles are used in smiling while the average frown uses forty-three. Why does excessive exercise cause muscles to become stiff and sore? During vigorous exercise, the circulatory system cannot supply oxygen to muscle fibers quickly enough. In the absence of oxygen, the muscle cells begin to produce lactic acid, which accumulates in the muscle. It is this buildup of lactic acid that causes soreness and stiffness. Why does excessive exercise cause muscles to become stiff and sore?
During vigorous exercise, the circulatory system cannot supply oxygen to muscle fibers quickly enough. In the absence of oxygen, the muscle cells begin to produce lactic acid, which accumulates in the muscle. It is this buildup of lactic acid that causes soreness and stiffness. What organs are included in the integumentary system? The integumentary system, from the Latin integer, meaning to cover, includes skin, hair, glands, and nails. The main function of the integumentary system is to provide the body with a protective barrier between the organs inside the body and the changing environment outside. What organs are included in the integumentary system? The integumentary system, from the Latin integer, meaning to cover, includes skin, hair, glands, and nails. The main function of the integumentary system is to provide the body with a protective barrier between the organs inside the body and the changing environment outside. How much skin does a person shed in one year? An average man or woman sheds about 600,000 particles of skin per hour, which is approximately 1.5 pounds, 680 grams, per year. Using this figure, by the age of 70, a person will have lost 105 pounds. 47.6 kilograms, of skin which is equivalent to two odhirds of their entire body weight. How much skin does a person shed in one year? An average man or woman sheds about 600,000 particles of skin per hour, which is approximately 1.5 pounds, 680 grams, per year. Using this figure, by the age of 70, a person will have lost 105 pounds. 47.6 kilograms, of skin which is equivalent to two odhirds of their entire body weight. What is the purpose of goosebumps? The puckering of the skin that takes place when goose flesh is formed is the result of contraction of the muscle fibers in the skin. This muscular activity will produce more heat, and raises the temperature of the body. What is the purpose of goosebumps? The puckering of the skin that takes place when goose flesh is formed is the result of contraction of the muscle fibers in the skin. This muscular activity will produce more heat, 
and raises the temperature of the body. How thick is skin? The thickness of skin varies, depending on where it is found on the body. Skin averages 0.05 inches, 0.127 centimeters, in thickness. The thinnest skin is found in the eyelids and is less than 0.002 inches, 0.005 centimeters. Thick while the thickest skin is on the upper back, 0.2 inches or 0.5 centimeters. How thick is skin? The thickness of skin varies, depending on where it is found on the body. Skin averages 0.05 inches, 0.127 centimeters, in thickness. The thinnest skin is found in the eyelids and is less than 0.002 inches, 0.005 centimeters. Thick, while the thickest skin is on the upper back, 0.2 inches or 0.5 centimeters.